Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, as you can see, we are playing Raid Shadow Legends and we're gonna have a spotlight on Sethalia. So, Sethalia is a unit that I, I wouldn't say recently, I pulled her about a month, maybe two months ago, and, um, well, it was during the Valkyrie uh, Times 2 event, actually, so that's how long ago it was. Um, when I got the you know, the lightning, <laughs> I was pretty excited thinking that I'd get uh, uh, Valkyrie, and then Sethalia jumped out. I was quite disappointed because, I mean, it's Valkyrie, but, I mean, I didn't really know what Sethalia did, so I made her my storage guardian, and now <laughs> I've started using her. So, what does this girl do? So, as you can see, I did uh, six-star her and everything. She's fully ascended, gear's pretty much maxed out, she's not max level, uh, I need 10 more levels on her, sadly, uh, it just takes forever to level them up. So, as you can see, I have her on Relentless and Speed Gear, giving her pretty good stats, 40k health, 3.5k defense, 200 speed, 200 accuracy, uh, crit rate, crit damage, doesn't really matter, neither does attack or resistance, in my opinion. So, well, resistance is obviously good in general, but not necessarily good for Land boss. So, let's look. <laughs> She's a support unit. Um, obviously, I built her with speed, defense, and HP. So, yeah. Uh, the Relentless gear is pretty good, actually. Look at that one. 42 accuracy. <laughs> 30 accuracy and speed. Speed, accuracy, and defense. Crit rate, speed, HP. I got kind of lucky with this gear piece. It's not supposed to be pretty. It's not supposed to be good, but I mean, it's got speed, accuracy, defense as an HP chest plate, and then the boots. All right, so we've got defense, defense, and accuracy over here. All right, so let's look at the skills now. When I got her, I remember that she was a very disliked character, and that was because she was really really bad like she was a terrible unit completely useless but that was before the buff so let's look at our skills what are they are now attack one enemy has a 50 percent chance of placing an hp burn debuff for two turns which goes up to 60 percent chance and with master hexer is three turns which is very very good for clan boss of course second skill now this is basically the skill that replaces Apothecary over here, which is why Apothecary is on pretty shit gear. So her second skill is basically Apothecary's second and third skill in one, all in one, on a two turn cooldown. Removes all debuffs from an ally target, then places a block debuff buff for two turns that heals that ally and heals that ally by 75% of their max HP. In other words, Apothecary's second skill, but with the added effects of um, removing all debuffs and placing a block debuffs buff. And on top of that, heals all other allies by 20% of their max HP and fills their turn meters by 15% if the ally target is fully healed by this skill. In other words, the third skill of Apothecary. So of course they don't have the speed buff afterwards, but I mean, it's, it's still worth it considering her third skill. Now, as you can see, this does get um, skill ups into heals and into a cooldown time, which is pretty crazy having this on a two turn. Third skill has a 75% chance, goes up to 100% chance, of removing all buffs from all enemies, then decreases the turn meter of all enemies by 10% and fills the turn meter of all allies by 10%. Decreases the turn meter of all enemies by 20% and fills the turn meter of all allies by 20% if five or more buffs were removed. Now this is very good for arena. So in other word, if in other words, if um, your enemies has a full, all of them have a set of shield on, and maybe a defense buff, one of them, or even one of them's on uh, uh, immunity gear, basically they will immediately be removed and your entire team will gain 20% attack bar as well as the enemy team will lose 20% attack bar which is very very good on a three turn cooldown that is insane and the aura increases magic ally resistance in all battles by 50 
which is rather disappointing actually. I'd like this to be um, increases ally resistance in all battles by 50. Um, the magic allies only part kind of ruins it. Now masteries, uh, of course I went with the war master path. After all, I do use her in clan boss. Uh, the, it's the typical war master build. And then I went with accuracy. Accuracy. I went with this one. Not because it works, but because I needed this mastery. Increases the amount of healing and the value of shield buff placed by this champion by 10% if the ally has 40% HP or less. So this is there because I kind of want her to be able to fully heal an ally no matter how much health they have left so that the rest of the skill can also apply. In other words, the increased attack bar to all allies and the heal to all allies. And then I went with more accuracy. I went with Cycle of Magic because imagine having the second skill on a two turn cooldown, getting an extra turn and proccing Cycle of Magic you can immediately use it again, which is kind of broken. I have got Lore of Steel, you know, just for the extra bit of speed. Uh, and then we went with Sniper for the uh, extra 5% chance on the um, HP burn, which is not necessary, but I mean, I guess you could go with Lasting Gifts, but it won't really, I don't think that makes a real big difference having an extra turn on the block debuffs, especially since it's only on one ally. Um, but whereas the HP burn can last another turn on the clan boss. And then, of course, Master Hexer, which was honestly what I'm talking about, the extended buffs. So for the three turn HP burn. All right. <clears throat> now, where do I use her? <laughs> well, I use her everywhere, in clan boss and in arena. So she's on my arena defense. Right here, that's my defense, and this is my defense right now. So it's kind of bad because, I mean, it was just the new reset, so everyone was kind of into arena. Um, I did do a couple of battles. Let's see if I can beat this one. I might not if they're faster. So by the way, you might be wondering why I use um, Gorgorab on the team. He's just there for the increased attack bar and the speed lead mainly, and in case of emergencies, the revive. Of course. So the strategy behind the team is uh, Gorgorab goes, increases the attack bar of everyone, such as that. Sethalia goes, uses her second skill for the 15% increased turn meter, and not this one, because I saved this one to remove buffs. But in this case, I'm still gonna use this one. So there I go, increase the turn meter, then Altan goes, and I am gonna target Kale, and then Rosin goes and decreases the attack bar of everyone else, and potentially kills someone. So that's what the team does. Now, I'm not gonna use that. Let's just go hit him again. Oh, uh, I really hate Seeger. He's one of the really, really good units. <laughs> and let's kill Seeger. Heal up a bit. Do that. I should actually target um, Zargala, um, but I'm not going to this time. And let's remove the buffs. No more attack buff for you. And as you can see, that was more than five buffs, obviously, so uh, the 20% was applied. Here we go. So as you saw, this team has a way higher um, power score than my team does, which is which honestly doesn't really matter. It all depends on your team and how you use your team. Perfect. So that worked. If this thing would finish loading, that would be great. Come on, come on, please. Whatever. Can this thing happen? And there we go, we are back. So. That was pretty satisfying, I'd say. Oh, look at that, we completed the mission. And as for clan boss, um, I used her in Brutal, 
So as you can see, my score is 29 million. So the first run was a total score of 12.64 million, which was when she was still five star. And the second run was 16 point, I think three, three, four, maybe I think that's what it was. Um, and that was when I got her to level 50 as a six star. So it's really not a bad team. Um, it works. Uh, I think the only way I can improve my team now is by replacing Kale with someone that has better um, poison output, such as, well, uh, what's his name? The, the fucking ogre guy. I might use Tomb Lord, uh, which I also recently got. <laughs> Lucky me. Just think that this is a free-to-play account with one, two, three, four, five legendary units other than rosin which was a fusion fusion of course my ratings for Cethalia let me let me specify more on that so arena offense five definitely magic keep yeah five definitely clan boss I definitely give her a five she is a better version of apothecary and apothecary I'd say is like a four for clan boss faction wars yeah, she's pretty good. She's very good for faction wars. Arena defense, definitely, definitely. Spiders, um, so spiders, I would actually not say she's a 4.5 because, well, she does have the HP burn, which is beneficial, but it's only on one target. So I'd give her three, maybe four, um, Let's go four, just because she does have the heal, which can keep the target that the spiderlings are targeting alive, as well as the HP burn. Campaign locations, this is not her spot. I'd give her a three. It's not that great. Uh, Fire Knights, definitely not her place. Three, maybe even a, maybe even a two. It's it's really not her place. Ice Golem. Four, maybe five, definitely. She's pretty good here as well. Um, yeah, she can keep your team alive pretty nicely. Dragon, I'd give her a five, maybe four. Let's give her a four. Labyrinth destroys uh, Spirit Keep. Spirit Keep, she's pretty damn good as well. Force Keep, she does not have affinity advantage, so I'd give her a... She can strip the defense. And HP burn, so I'd give her a four. Void keep five as well. So yeah, she, she's a really good unit in my opinion. Um, I really do not regret pulling her. Uh, I was very disappointed at the beginning, but holy shit, she's she was actually a game changer for me. Um, if you do have her, I do suggest building her for arena mostly because she can be game changing with the aggress um, skill. Just to remove all buffs, it's so good. Like, you have no idea how much it actually changes the game for you. Uh, so yeah, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. That is my quick guide and review of Cethalia. Cheers!